Hey there everyone and welcome to the Flexbox series. So some of you might be wondering what is this series? This series is going to be about Flexbox, explaining what is Flexbox, why we need to learn Flexbox and where you can use them. Also by the end of the series you can call yourself as pro in using the Flexbox. I'll try to make sure to include enough example about the flexbox in a real life scenario how you can use them in the mobile environment as well as on the web environment so without a further ado let's talk about what is flexbox and how we can use that so uh, let me continue in here and uh, what we can see here is a faq section what is this faq now when people get started with the flexbox it is common to have few common simple questions that need to be first answered. So let's talk about a few questions here. Okay, let's take them one by one. So first of all, what is Flexbox? Now, I know many of you are wondering, what is this Flexbox? Is it a new tech to design apps or is it a new tech to design websites? No, it's not, it's just CSS. And yes, that is just CSS. Now you might be think, thinking, hey, we do have CSS, why we need to learn Flexbox? Now Flexbox is just like a it's just like a cherry on the top of the cake and it makes things simple and I would say simpler. Now I, I want to give you a simple example of the Flexbox. Now again, uh, Flexbox is just plain CSS and it's just a writing style of the CSS with few additional elements being given to us in the CSS. Now you don't need to install anything extraordinary for working with that. Your existing web pages all can utilize the Flexbox properties and all these things. It's already available for you. But what I want to show you here is uh, why Flexbox, why we are learning it. Now Flexbox is amazing and sometimes the CSS gives us some challenges like centering the elements and uh, floating to the right and left and aligning proper spacing to each uh, division. These are some of the challenges which surely you can do with the CSS but Flexbox makes it really simple. Just like you don't write your code in simple text editor like TextPad or Notepad, you prefer to write your HTML code in some text editor. Maybe that can be a Notepad++ atom bracket or sublime text and exact same reason we are going to use flexbox it makes things easier and that's what we are going to do now let me also show you a couple of reasons why the flexbox is gaining so much popularity now in case you are aware with the framework which is react native and not a framework it's actually an entire library here and what it does it allows you to write uh, native apps in ios and android using your existing skill of html css and javascript and you can read the whole documentation here and you can see apps like facebook messenger instagram uh, tesla are already utilizing uh, this great uh, react native thing and yes uh, you write native it's not a hybrid app it's a native app that you uh, write in html css and javascript coming back on to our topic so why do we need to learn a flexbox for this react native and it's not just only for react native you can use that for web as well but let me show you a simple example here now what i can see here is uh, let me pause this in a, for a second now don't worry about the code or anything you can see there are two apps in my screen here one of them is iphone 6 and one of them is nexus 5 which is on android emulator now this code at the back end is being generated uh, by react native but the main issue is layout and we all know that uh, laying out the things on whether it's an iphone or it's an android it's not such an easy thing but you can make things really really simple and easy using flexbox so Flexbox specializes in the things should look exactly same uh, no matter what the screen size is and we can see the screen size are drastically different for an iPhone 6 and an Nexus 5 it's just look drastically different and yet our elements are placed just exactly same and this is the power of the Flexbox and similarly on the web pages you can just lay out the things exactly same and no matter how the web page shrinks to a mobile size or a tablet size it just looks amazingly awesome and that is the reason we are why we are learning for the flexbox okay so now that you understand what is flexbox and why it is so important it just makes life so easier let's also talk about what is the prior knowledge you should have uh, before getting started with the flexbox now flexbox does uh, require a little bit knowledge of html and css and that's it now throughout this video series i won't be explaining the things like how to change a background color or how to increase the font size or how to lay out 
h1 heading tags or h6 heading tags i won't be explaining that i will be skipping that bare minimum basics apart from that html and css you don't require any kind of special uh, things it's just work like that okay the final question is what tools uh, we need to be uh, using in this entire course now this is a simple kind of a web dev course you can call it as a web dev course and for that you are completely fine to use your favorite uh, text editor there now mine happened to be atom which is cross cross platform and is available for windows mac or linux wherever you are hanging out uh, you can see it's available for all of the guys here's the windows here's the mac so it's available for all of that i will be using that this guy throughout the course and if you're a big fan of sublime text just hang out there hands down i i cannot say anything just keep on working there i know you are a big fan of sublime text keep on there if you are a fan of another text editor just be there there is no such extraordinary thing with the text editors here and as my daily driver i use chrome so i'll be using the same uh, for showing out the output of entire flexbox results so apart from atom or maybe your favorite editor and a browser we don't need anything extraordinary so now that the things are clear that what is flexbox why we are learning the flexbox and what are the tools that you really need to have for the flexbox in the next video we are going to talk about uh, directly writing the code and we'll understand what is flexbox in the code scenario and how we can utilize that uh, to lay out some amazing awesome layouts here okay i'll surely catch you up in the next video